Well, nearly all of us have shopped online, and with an increase of spending comes an increase of fraud. A Tampa doctor who wants to keep his identity private learned that the hard way. He went on eBay to buy an Xbox, but ended up in the middle of an alleged scam. In tonight's 10 News Extra, anchor Dave Worth shows you how this can happen to even the savviest of shoppers. So look at his past sales to see what he's, uh, he's been used to selling. Joe never thought twice about online shopping until he came upon an eBay store detectives say was set up just for fraud. I like to help out folks that are in need. And uh, it's my way of giving back uh, the many blessings that I've received in my life. And uh, I like to do it uh, in a quiet way. Joe says last summer he went on eBay and ordered an Xbox 360 gaming system for this man, Donnie Brokenberry, as a gift for a cancer patient. This young gentleman had a, a need for um, something to improve his, his uh, spirits, to make him feel better, uh, and to help him with the, with the difficult process that he was going through in, in fighting his, uh, his ailment. But Joe says even after he'd paid for the new system, the Xbox never came to his Tampa home. Instead, Joe says all he got was a stack of emails, each one with excuses about why the system hadn't arrived. That's when he contacted eBay's fraud protection program and the police. Through my research, I found that there were a lot of victims on eBay that were posting, you know, that this guy was a fraud. Detective Greg Riddell spends much of his time investigating fraud on the Internet. Riddell says he can tie Brokenberry to about 13 cases nationwide. Slowly, there's more people calling in as our victims. Riddell believes Brokenberry first built up a reputation on eBay by selling small items and then started offering more. Sony digital cameras, Xboxes, uh, DVD players, uh, camcorders. There were all kinds of electronic equipment that he was selling. He never had any of those items. Through my interview with him, he, he stated he never had those items. Detectives say in most of the cases, Brokenberry asked buyers to send money for the electronics to a mailbox he'd rented at a UPS store in Shreveport, Louisiana. Managers say they didn't know the box might have been part of a fraud. We've already given written notice uh, to that effect. Brokenberry lives in Frierson, Louisiana. There are some sterling Brokenberry people in the, in the, uh, in the uh, Shreveport area, but not Donnie. Joe says he did wind up buying another Xbox for the cancer patient, but not, he says, over the Internet. I hope they're brought to justice. Whatever, whatever degree of justice uh, the, uh, the courts in Shreveport should, uh, should deem necessary, I think it should, uh, it should be significant enough to send a message to others that are sitting at home looking for a way to make a quick buck that this is not the way to do it. I'm Dave Worth, Tampa Bay's 10 News. Brokenberry is out on bond and has not been tried yet on fraud charges. Joe got his $375 back, but he says only because he used his credit card and they fought the charges. The Better Business Bureau suggests cross-checking a seller or a company before you make a big buy. Well, looking for something fun to do this